Hello there, this is Jamie Deitch once again, and today broadcasting to you live from America. I'm in Houston, Texas. I uh, just flew in from Italy last night, so I'm all over the place. Uh, today, for podcast number four, we're going to develop a new program for my company, which is Carnival Cruise Line. I would like to develop a mentoring program because I think this is going to be hugely beneficial for a variety of reasons. So, let me share with you a few of the components. First of all, who's involved? It has to do with myself, maybe some other cruise directors. It's for Carnival Cruise line uh, but it, this is a program that if it's successful could be extended to many different departments uh, there's so many managers and now they experience and they develop their team members by coaching but if we improve that relationship and really make it a mentorship that could be beneficial for the company overall so what are we doing we're developing a mentoring program and according to Michael Fay's podcast they talk about mentoring as a developmental relationship where the mentor oversees career development of another person through teaching, counseling, providing psychological support, and at times promoting or sponsoring. The mentoring is very important and it really relates to the sharing of knowledge that furthers the professional growth and success of both parties. That is a huge component. It is a reciprocal relationship. So both the person being mentored and the mentoree would receive a huge benefit if this program was developed. Uh, right now, I mentioned people are currently coaching. So according to the textbook, coaching means educating, instructing, and training their subordinates, which is very important and of course we use performance appraisals we use meetings and good communication to coach but mentoring is really taking all of this a step further and really harboring the potential within all of your employees and where would this take place uh, if it's successful it would be on board one or more of carnival's 25 cruise ships so one article that I read talked about the six key components to building a successful mentoring program so it's really important to identify your purpose there should be a clear strategic purpose that aligns with the organizational goals of the company. So our goals would be to increase employee retention. A lot of people, they come on the cruise ship, they do only one contract, and that has to do, you. every time a new team member signs on, they have to do a ton of training. It's a, a huge time commitment for them to learn their responsibilities. So if someone were taking a vested interest in their development, hopefully this would improve employee retention. Currently, there is no mentorship program that exists. Um, on board, training of entertainment staff can be hugely rushed and sometimes it's overwhelming for them because there's safety components, there's job related components, they're far away from home, they're in a new atmosphere. So if a mentor were to sit down and really see how they're doing, check in, set goals and care about them as a person, that would be hugely beneficial. Since there is a not currently a mentorship program that exists, this could result in lots of positive change for the company. And as a child, I had an amazing mentor and I feel like I could give back and I'm sure a lot of other managers within Carnival feel the same way that they really could help others develop because that is really such a great feeling. I wanna show you a short video clip when one of the team members that I was working with was given a contract on our brand new ship, the Carnival Vista. This is Courtney English. We played a little trick on her and told her that she was in trouble for something that happened with Bingo, and then we broke the news to her. So here is how she responded. Because you're not going to the Spirit, but you're going to the Vista. <laughs> According to the article, it's very important to have good communication. Two types of communication that are involved. One is to introduce the employee to the mentoring program and ensure they know what it's for and who is able to participate. Uh, they also need to meet one-on-one, -on -one, um, or this could be in a group setting, so that they are understanding the development process and the relationship between the mentor and the mentor E. Also, it's very important to have trust within this relationship. It has to be mutually beneficial. You really have to put your heart into it or else nothing is gonna come of it. A mentor can also be a coach to the mentoree, but really it's more of a psychological, more in-depth relationship than that. And this article also mentioned there's a mutual benefit of a trusting relationship, really trusting your mentor. Uh, the last time I worked with my mentor, Debbie, 
10 years ago, but I still call her every time I'm home, every time I have cell phone service to see how she's doing and she just makes me think of things in a different way. There's lots of fears associated with why a mentoring program may not exist. There's fear of failure, fear of rejection. It's a huge time commitment to take someone under your wing. And I remember when I was younger, I went out with Debbie to dinners. We would always spend time together, have heart to hearts uh, during work even. So obviously it is a huge time commitment, but there are huge benefits. And also people are afraid of change. A mentoring program is a big responsibility. And if it's something that you're first introducing, people are scared that it may not work out. Um, another thing that this article mentioned, you don't want to have false expectations. You're not going to save the world in one contract or one day. You want to look for someone externally. So someone that's already in the company may have some predetermined thoughts and ideas about where their job is heading, but if you bring someone brand new, you can just start that initial relationship together. You want to set a time frame and also it says in this article, which I thought was awesome, don't be a mentor unless you have had a mentor. So. I feel like I've grown so much from my mentors as a child and now I would want to give back. So I would need to look for other managers that have that same frame of mind. Another important component of this relationship is that it can be informal or formal. Um, senior managers can assist less experienced managers. Also, you can expect career advice and how to navigate office politics. There's a lot of tricks of the trade that people learn when they've been with the company for a long time. Also, the textbook mentioned that mentoring can be both valuable and dangerous. It's hard to reverse some long-term issues that the mentoree may have. Most mentors don't have a degree in psychology, so they need to be very cautious when giving personal advice. Effective mentors, according to the textbook, should set high standards. They should be willing to invest time and effort in the mentoring relationships. And they should actively steer proteges into important projects, teams, and jobs. So this mentoring program is something we would need to advertise for, hire new team members. It would be mutually beneficial for all involved, but is something that could have a huge positive impact in improving employer retention and improving the quality of employees that we have working for the company. In this Carnival Mentorship Program specifically, as mentioned earlier, it would be very important that the mentor has input as to who the mentoree will be, and they take extra time to train them, to counsel them, to ensure they're meeting their goals, and to meet with them either one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting to ensure that they're meeting those targets. It should be measured by HR, and it would be very helpful if the team had some meetings while they're not cruising or while they're observing others that are working so that they can be properly trained and they get the time that they deserve. I want to share with you a quick slideshow that shows some of the team members that I've worked with and some of the mentors that I have had in the past. Hopefully it will be successful and thank you so much for your time and have a great day. All the best.